Hey there, welcome to LSAT Demon Daily. I'm Ben Olson, that's Nathan Fox. Together we're the founders of LSATdemon.com and our weekly podcast, Thinking LSAT. This email comes to us from Heather. Thanks for writing in. I've just begun studying after listening to hours of the podcast and attending a free event. Truly awesome work that you're doing. I love the program so far and I'm looking forward to eventually upgrading to the live program. In fall 2020 and spring 2021, I attended two quarters of a California registered but non-ABA approved law school, People's College of Law. Okay. Um, Interesting. I made all A's and one B in contracts, criminal law, torts, and legal writing. I dropped out of the school because even though my grades were good and I liked learning the law, I thoroughly disliked the school itself Hmm. and decided that attending this kind of school was a bad idea. Yeah, I'm like mildly confused. People can attend non-ABA approved law schools for what reason? Oh, it's California bar. You can still sit the California bar. Oh, I mean, okay, they, okay. You, you have to take the baby bar. If you go to a, a state approved school rather than an ABA approved school, then you do have to take the baby bar between your 1L and 2L years. That's where Kim Kardashian's law career is currently um, stuck, as I understand it. Oh, she, she couldn't pass the baby bar? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, she, <laughs> you know, popped off on Instagram and everything about how she's like going to be a lawyer and everything. And then yep, she yeah. just has, I, as I understand it, has repeatedly failed the baby bar. The baby bar is a consumer <laughs> protection device. I think everybody should have to take the baby bar. I think that yeah. if you go to any ABA school, Why would it be in any one L year, you should have to take the baby bar. And if you can't pass the baby bar, then you shouldn't be able to continue to pay tuition for your second and third year. Of course, Kim doesn't need protection. She would be more than happy to pay for two more years of law school. Um, but she <laughs> she can't pass the baby bar, apparently. So she is that's where she's stuck. But Interesting. Okay, yeah. well, good consumer protection there. Um, she thoroughly disliked the school itself and decided that attending this kind of school was a bad idea. I know that none of the classes I took are eligible for transfer credit, so I'll be starting over from scratch when I'm admitted to an ABA accredited school. Okay. Any words of advice for addressing my two-quarter attendance at a janky law school in either an addendum or my personal statement? Not your personal statement. Is it possible that my previous attendance at this janky law school could hurt rather than help my application to a legit school? It's a little strange you left. I think if I were a law school, I'd be concerned like, okay, you started this program, but then you quit. Are you going to quit my program? Um, It's different. So it does seem like... I would write one or two sentences. I would, I would look for, you know, they might specifically ask you. In fact, I have a feeling that almost every application is going to ask you if you've ever been enrolled in law school before. Yeah. Um, I seem to recall that as part of my application to law school, but anyway, even if they don't, I think that you, you know, there, there are going to be open-ended places where you can say whatever you want to say. And in that place, I think I would put one or two sentences. I think I would just say, I decided I wanted to approve an ABA. I wanted to attend an ABA accredited school. That's a fact. (sighs) It has no judgment. What I really don't want you to say is I've decided that attending that kind of school was a bad idea or calling them janky or I thoroughly disliked the school. Like, don't say any of that shit. It could be as simple as, I left or I stopped attending the people's school or the people's college of law because it was a non ABA approved law school period. I would like to attend an ABA approved law school period. They are an ABA approved law school that you're applying to. They would fully understand that it's non-emotional it's fact (laughs) driven. And then, yeah, That's it. That's it. That's all you have to say. And now it's explained. Now they understand why you quit a previous law school and there's nothing more to say. Yeah. Keep it short and just tell them that you decided you wanted to go to an ABA accredited school. Don't take any shots on your way out the door at that other school. Just say, I wanted to attend an ABA accredited school. There you go. That's it. Yeah. Thanks for writing in Heather. Uh, email daily at lsatdemon.com if you'd like to ask us a question or share some news on the LSAT or law school admissions. Thanks for listening.